Chris Hughes emails us, which team not priced in the top 10 Super Bowl odds has the best chance at winning it? And we'll pull up some pinnacle odds to take a look and see uh, which team not priced in the top 10. Suma, where do you start to look when you when you uh, see these prices on the board? I will start to look at the Cleveland Browns at uh, plus 31, uh, 30, 37. Um, I mean... The Browns are an interesting team because when you look at their roster, you already have to rank them pretty high. I, I have them hovering around the um, 10th spot in my ratings right now, but I'm willing to adjust upwards pretty quickly when I see Deshaun Watson being close to his former self because that's basically the only thing keeping me back for now. It's just the uncertainty range for Deshaun Watson because... That offense is so loaded, like arguably the best or let's say top three offensive line. Kevin Stefanski is a decent play caller, good skill position group. Like everything is there. If they can now get good quarterback play, that would be awesome for them. If you think about the last two seasons, like even they were dealing with Jacoby Brissett and Baker Mayfield, who was playing on one shoulder and one knee, basically. Kevin Stefanski still got a pretty decent efficiency out of that group. I think last year with Jacoby Brissett, they were like top 10 in EPA per play and success rate. So if they can just get decent quarterback play from Deshaun Watson in a new scheme, because last year it was obvious that on the one side he looked completely cooked, but he was also playing in a scheme that doesn't fit his strength really. And this year we are going to see a different scheme for the Browns. If he's good, the Browns will absolutely and immediately shoot towards the top of the AFC, in my opinion. So um, I think that, that their mean projection is, is already pretty high because of the talent on the roster. Also, when you look at the defensive side, that defensive line is loaded right now. Miles Garrett, the Darius Smith, Devin Tomlinson, Shelby Harris, that's one heck of a defensive line. New DC, who should do a better job than last year. They got some talent um, along their secondary. So this team is really, really good on paper. And if, if you bet them on the Super Bowl, you're basically betting on the on the right side of the distribution, which could be extremely fat because we might get the old Sean Watson back. Yeah, uh, you forgot to mention my favorite name to pronounce in the NFL, Obo Okoronkwo, who's also a rotational <laughs> yeah. pass rusher. Um, I, I like to think of what flaws does a team have and what areas are they very good at? And like, it's hard for me to point out any flaws in Cleveland's roster when I when I really break it down. We already know they have a very good O-line and who I think is the best running back in football. If they get a top-level quarterback play, they're going to be very good in a lot of things. 